He said he should have just enough time. Okay, if we skip, we'll skip the beginning part. Zoomy, zoomy, frog boy. Moritrin with 550 bits. Moritrin, thank you for the bits, dude. I appreciate it. Ah! Super speed frog. Okay, we're autoing away. What keystone did you take? You have grasp. Okay, grasp again. He's scared of the clench. Grasp, what is, what's he doing? Why would he go back? You monkey! Flash! The flash! Bleh. Oh no! Oh, ignite. <laughs> what the fuck was he doing? Oh, this was his plan. Now he's gonna kill you. Run! Ah! Mm. Holy shit. That is some crazy shit. I was gonna say that was his strategy all along to kill you with his passive. I don't know what the fuck he was doing though, man. Okay. Well played on the level one. Uh. Zoom, zoom. Back to lane. Wee. You d yeah, you did the right thing by staying on him, man. I don't know why he stayed there. <laughs> you were running Ignite, Tom Kench, too. That's pretty fucking scary. So right now, um, we need Fog of War. Blue side, red side. Red side Fog. Push to his turret, no flash, you should ward. Definitely ward. Okay. And their jungler is Vi, but you do see Vi in the map, so you don't have to worry about anything right now. Yeah, just run him back as far as you can! Oh no, you hit a minion. Oh no, you hit a minion! I don't think you would've killed him either way, but it was close. If he stays, you can probably dive him here. Yeah. I'm still got another potion, though. Honestly, I don't know if you should keep pushing at this point. The wave, I think your wave, their wave was bigger than yours. Maybe. At one point there. So I think it would have pushed out and you could have froze it on him right there. Like, any, any time you see him E, and fuck up the wave when you've got a huge health advantage... Because he's doing that, right? When the minions are even and he does that shit and you've got health advantage, just zone him. Just straight zone him off CS. Okay, we don't know where the jungler is now. They were bot side, they probably just pulled clear bot. They'll probably be back up here within the next... 30 seconds or less. So, warding, warding now would be good again. You don't have one yet. Vi's mid. Oh, you're down a lot of CS. Damn, what happened? your jungler. Fizz. Fizz is sitting mid. Uh oh. There she is. The 30 seconds. Run! Liquor. Liquor! No, Cyan hasn't gone anywhere. He's just he's just lane CSing. But he can CS with his E as well. He's got a decent ability to uh, to farm. He's got ulti now, you gotta be really careful. They could just straight dive, I think. Your flash is back up though so you can dodge it. Um Yeah, I was gonna say I would greed stay. If you go back there, you're gonna be down like over a full level. That would have been really bad. 
But then again, Vi should have stayed in Dovio. Dang coffee, hello? I don't know if I would have pushed those last three creeps unless you needed the gold. What are you sitting on right now? 1200? Let's we'll see what you buy. We are gonna go for... Okay, Bamish Cinder. So you didn't need those last three. The wave would have been... What is he doing? Wait. Never mind, he's pushing. I was gonna say, he could have froze this forever on you right there. So if you would have left those three range creeps, the wave would have been even because it was, what, three versus three? It, it still would have pushed towards him a little bit, but I don't think he would have lost as much. If he actually played this right, he'd fucking push, and he's giving you the CS for some reason. He's not taking the advantage that he had. So playing pure solo queue style, ulting back to the lane so you don't miss CS. Honestly, that's not a bad idea, but your impact in the game is going to be lower if you don't help your team. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you got the Rejuve beat as well. Is he gonna let you fight him? I don't know if you can fight him right now. He's pretty big. No, you can fight him. Okay, well he gave up the lane there. He's got a level on you too, and he's got MR. But he doesn't have any way to hurt you. Okay, getting that last auto in rotation there was good. Well played, well played. I was gonna cry if he got his fucking W back up, man. Karma's dead, Scion's dead. Scion does have TP, so yeah, just recall. He's gonna re or TP back as soon as he's up so he gets that wave. Okay, well I need you to be quiet so I can do this coaching session, okay? Okay. Okay, authorization, you got Merc Treads, he's got decent CC. That's a huge guy. That is a huge guy. What's, what's his name? Tom Kinch. That's not you? That's not me. We're just we're doing a replay. That's you. I'm not in here. We're doing a replay coaching session for somebody. But, but why did he open his mouth? Why did he open his mouth so he could get back to lane faster? <laughs> I don't want to see his suck mouth. You don't want to see his mouth? No, I don't want to see his suck mouth. I don't want to see his dumb either. Ew. <laughs> Okay, I can hear noise. Don't play with that, please. Because it sounds like it's broken. If you're playing with it, it'd probably fall all apart. Oh, okay, so Vi is bottom. You're free to do whatever you want right now. Moritrin, you will be there all day, man. People have all day to fight you on the bit boss thing. Eat him! Oh, what was that? That went through the minion. Huh? It's the minion. Those are all minions. Holy duck up. It's a really slow lane. You don't have TP, so this is just you're on an island here. We're only watching this lane. You could be making plays with like ulti to bot lane or something, but Yes, all those little red guys are minions. What? There's blue minions too, and red ones. Why is there blue minions too and red ones? 
because they're enemies. The red ones fight the blue ones. Because they're they don't like each other. Because they're blue. Yep, and they're red. And the red ones don't like the blue ones. I don't know. It's an ongoing battle through the ages. Ages means years. Time. Yep. That's not nice. Pal, this is a really slow game, man. <laughs> this is a really slow game up here. No TP, we ult back to lane. Like, there's a lot of times you could just, you could do something to help the rest of your team with ulti. Um, but you're gambling on your own lane. Ba okay, so if you TP somewhere else, you are going to get behind in CS and experiencing your lane, right? So unless you're making plays with ulti, not necessarily worth. So without TP... And him having TP, you're denying him from helping his team. But I don't know. It's it's kind of, it's really a gamble only playing to top lane. You know what I mean? Because how how useful are you gonna be later in the game when it comes to team fights? Sion, he's gonna press R. He's gonna engage on your team, and if he CCs anybody, they're pretty much gonna win. Unless you frontline for everybody, and just eat all the damage. Because right now you are the only tank on your team. Don't don't do that. Stop. That looks like a Put it back. Hey, it, looks like a it does, but that's my mouse pad. Don't roll it up. My daddy, why? Because I need to be able to use my mouse pad. Can you me? <laughs> no, that's not what being mean is. No, not at all. Oh, okay, okay. We've got a Fizz here. He's probably got ulti again. He does have ulti. Ooh. Why? What you doing, little guy? <laughs> okay. Honest, okay, so at this point, mm, you do have Lulu here. Uh, I think you need to leave. He's got some mana. He doesn't really do a lot of damage as Scion, but if anybody else shows up, you're you're dead. So recalling, good option. What are we buying here? The new Spirit Visage is probably really good on top. Wait, not Spirit. Banshees. Not Banshees. Abyssal. The new Abyssal is probably really fucking good for Tom. Right? So if you're going Abyssal, I, I would definitely support that idea. So, pal, so far, man, there's not much to coach you on. You're, you're doing okay in the top lane island sort of deal. Um, I would have preferred TP so that you could help make plays for your team, especially because your counterpart has TP. Uh, that's, that's about it so far. Make sure you're not over pushing without warding. There was that one gank from Vi that could have been a little more awkward earlier. Was Clown reformed yesterday in my game? What's Clown's name now? Okay, 
So we are on the chase. Ah, eater, eater. Scooby. I haven't seen that name yet, I don't think. Okay, so you got the presence that you needed for your team. You eventually helped. 17 minutes. We did it. It was a really bad idea without your jungler. Oh no. Use the plant! Use the plant! The plant! Ah, ah. Karma? Hello? Go back, get the karma. No, no! Zaya, wake up! There's kills here! Hello? Yeah, pal, so basically, man, just be aware of your options. Your op You had the option to use the plant or blast cone to get back in. So use that shit anytime you can. Always look for those things, make that a habit. What? What? <laughs> okay. Cinder pooped on him. Very well played. She pressed R. Okay, they got two mountain dragons now. You've got to be conscious of Baron on the map now. Double mountains, they can, uh... Double mountain, they can easily do Baron. Why does a lot of damage to Baron? What's her build? Her build's pretty ass. Okay, your team's fighting. Um, right now, you should be watching your team. They're getting engaged on. You should be ulting down quickly. Ulti! My team! Uh. Well, now that that fight's over, you don't really need to do much. This should have countered some damage on him at least, like WQ or something. What's up here? Ew, ew. You're dead. Holy fucking troll knock up, couldn't he? Okay, so basically just watch more of what's going on with your team. So in that situation, you probably should have ulted down right away. As soon as you heard the Scion ulti, that's your cue to be like, fuck, what's going on? So Cyan ulti is the his engage tool, and you should be watching for that. Listening for that, so that you can counter. Vi, for some reason, is bottom. And Cinder is still level 10. With 81 CS, 22 minutes. Please, Cindra. Okay, so this time you're on it. That's... Uh... 
Nice, nice. Okay, Lily picked it up. That's good enough. I don't know why Lulu's looking to fight that right there. That is not good. They're really going to look to Baron, especially with your jungler down. They could at least go for control or something. They're not really doing that either. That's a third mountain dragon, holy shit. Okay, Zaya has no idea how to play Zaya. She ulted and she didn't move while she was ulting. Rip. Cinder, what are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna go back here. This is not a fight you guys want, right? You're starting out, you're already down your ADC, and they've got a lot of things up still. So, basically, you're gonna concede the dragon because your AD carry is gone. In late game, without having an ADC, and with your current team comp, you don't have much damage. Cinder is way behind. You've got a 25 stack Majai's Kassadin. Like, he is fucking huge. He's huge. Okay, 15 stack Cassidy. Eat him! Was that too dead? You guys could go get Dragon? Could? Maybe? Nope. No Dragon. He's in there. Somebody's in there. Okay, you just want to run. Reset. Run, reset. Resetting's all you need to do. You gotta get vision control back on Baron. You guys need to play around that. Uh, you are Tom Kench. You could split, but your ulti doesn't go far enough to be able to help if they actually do pressure Baron. So I don't recommend splitting. I recommend waiting for the wave to push, then get that wave, and then you can like ult back, ult back all the way to mid, right? Realistically, the best thing for you to do with your team is going to be to frontline, tank the Scion ulti when he looks to engage, and then just be that frontline that your team needs. You're going to have to be the brick wall here. Something's gonna happen over here. They have two more people, like right here. Here it comes. Run away! Okay, well, you ate the ulti like you needed to. Cinder's still fucking. Cinder, now you're just dead, cuz. Okay, <laughs> you're not dead. Tom Clench. Too tanky. Too fucking tanky. Like, honest, I think the biggest thing here is that you probably needed to impact the game more earlier on. Um... 
I would have I would have ran TP this game. Going for ignite, that's like the biggest problem that you're having right now. Having ignite, not having TP, your team can't really uh You can't really help your team out much, right? Gonna die. Oh, he's gonna eat you. Where'd you go? Saber, take it easy, man. Okay, so Baron unwarded currently. You do have uh, wards to their path to Baron. Now remember, Baron's up and they have triple mountain. Baron's like a four second deal for them if they just go there as a team. If you can get a far side totem. Okay, you got one there. Is that yours? That is yours. Well played. Well played, sir. Being bottom, Kassadin has doesn't have TP. He's running TP, doesn't have TP. You should never show two bottom, though. Infernal coming up, but not for a while. Baron's on the map. Okay. This is pretty sketchy of Fizz, too, to do that. Well, except they all just showed. I'm gonna follow you for a second. Plug in my mouse. Okay, so you can't really rotate this way unless you're gonna start a fight immediately. Cinder lost your shit. You guys are in a bad spot. I would try to save Cinder here. Oh, fuck are you guys getting killed? What? Let's go back. Uh, we're going back. That was so awkward. So right here, Cinder is in a fucking jam, man, right? Oh, Fizz just annihilated Ezreal. That's what's happening. So they're like focusing your support, going ham for the Lulu here, and meanwhile, the rest of their team fucking died, and I don't know where Cassidy is. What the fuck were they doing? So you should have gone to save Syndra. I would have used W to save Syndra there. She was in a really bad spot, man. Had they known who to focus or what to do at that point in time, Cinder was fucking dead. She was so dead. Fizz, you want to do some damage, man? You want to do some damage, Fizz? No? No damage for Fizz? Holy fuck balls. He's got 12 more R's. Well, no Baron for us. Not today! They can easily do it, though. Give me a hat. Thank you, but I don't want to wear it. One second, I will. You goofball. Okay, back up. What is the most refreshing drink in your opinion? Always water. Always water. What am I drinking now? I'm drinking Coke Zero. Why? Because I want caffeine, because I gotta keep up with all these Adderall kids. Everybody's got a prescription of Adderall these days, except for me. Feels left out, man. Not water, lemonade with ice. Okay, okay, we're going back. Going back. 
is your positioning. You are... Basically, you should be looking for Scion. You need to know where the fuck he is. You guys don't have wards out here and you're getting poked by Ezreal. There's the Scion. Knowing where Scion is so you can make sure you're not getting ulted by him is pretty important. Now his fucking Hulk is shitting on your team. Lick him. Move, Lulu. You gonna cast a spell? You're just gonna die to him. Holy shit. Um, you guys have an Infernal now! You had three dead, it was just Ezreal and... No. Tower, yeah, tower. One hit on tower. They don't want to mess with you. Tom Clench! Too strong for Ezreal. Okay, most refreshing drink. Water while you have a piece of winter fresh gum in your mouth. Cassidy's on the side, watch the flank. Make sure you're forward so you can stop the slant ulti. Yay, Tom Clench. Here they come. You are tanking three people. You need to try to get the Ezreal if you can, and now you're just going to get pooped on. So basically, you're doing your thing. Liquor, slimy lick a tongue. Go, buddy, go. You can go back. You can go back in. You just need to slow. Lick him. Lick him. Put your tongue on him. Don't get eaten. Run away! back. Why? I gotta stop reading chat. I apologize. I'm not focusing. Where's your team? Why is Zaya dead? Okay. It's like, hey, here's an Ezreal. And Ezreal's like, hey, here's a free Zaya. Chases him into the bush. What the fuck? She didn't even auto. Not even once. Just walked in to die. And you're just like, okay, well, GG Arena. And then Cinder entered, and then it's all downhill from here. This is where they do the Barons. You got the pink, so you can at least see in there. Don't do it, Lulu. Don't do it, Lulu. Yep, you know Lulu's boosted, okay. Cinder did zero- look at Cinder's build, man. Her build is straight garbage. Straight fucking garbage. Stop tanking the beast! Baron's really low. You guys gotta get around quick! Um, Lulu? Oh. Ah! Yep, 
Yeah, this is unfortunate. You're gonna end up dying, Zaya's gonna die without autoing again. Uh, Cinder dying mid after that Zaya throw, that was just really bad. There's a lot of shit going on. And yeah, you being their front line, you're like the only front line for your team, they're, they're all gonna die now. They're all just gonna fucking feed. Yeah, that was too hard of a chase. You should have backed off as soon as Ezreal jumped over the wall. Holy shit. Wait, come back. I went too far. Okay, well, you got the the Vi for the Lulu. At this point in the game, I don't even know if that's worth losing all your utility for for that. Mid is open. Uh, team needs to chill before they die. Dude, this Cinder's build is straight poop. Just poop. Here comes Scion! Nope. Not a lot you can do there. Oh, he didn't! Syndra! Ah! Ah! Okay. This is such a fiesta, man. up. You guys need to rush Elder. Your base is wide open. Pretty much all sides. Top even took some damage. Mids. <sighs> yeah. Spam ping objective. Get there quickly. Yeah, you should be here and not mid. This is like the main focus right now. If you guys lose this, that's pretty much game over. You can't afford to lose anything else. Man, this Cinder build is just tilting to look at. So they really needed you here for the tank plus uh, the utility you do provide. You guys are all dead now. And Vi is kind of a disgusting champion too. I don't think there's any way that you get out of this. And that's probably the game. So... Running Ignite in your lane was 
good, a good lane cheese, but you needed more presence to help your team. Your team got really far behind. Fizz was like one in five in the jungle. Um, had you run TP, you probably could have got some more stuff going on bot. You needed to rotate to that that elder dragon. So when you have that when you have that advantage in numbers. It's not over yet. When you okay, so when you've got that advantage in numbers, maybe you've got multiple people dead and the objective is up, you've really got to push for that objective quickly. And being the one tank on your team, you've got to be there tanking for him. So you ended up you ulted top of that instance to try to uh, catch the Kassadin, which ended up dying, which is fine, but you should have immediately recalled and gone down to objective. You ended up, uh, I think you stopped mid and you were holding the, the supers. But you were, you needed to be here. Your team dies alone, they had no vision. Your support doesn't ward very well. Well, now they're warding okay, but not the best wards. But they had no wards over the wall of dragon. You guys just got engaged on for free. Okay, right here, you're looking to engage also 4v5. You don't have your team on the map, you need to just run. Like, missing... Oh no, this is the end. This is the end! AD carry still focusing fucking karma instead of Ezreal who eat in. Oh my. And that's yeah, that's just it man. So from top lane, more presence in the game, run TP, try to help out your bot lane, bot lane's what's going to carry later on. Uh, Zaya was full build at that time, but had you guys gotten the Elder Dragon in that situation, I think you would have been better off. So you needed to be there tanking for Elder, just make sure you're rotating on objectives faster, make sure your team is aware that objectives are happening, and if you don't have a huge advantage, uh, push for towers instead of like side objectives. So what I mean by a huge advantage, Addy stop. Stop. What I mean by huge advantage is if you have two people dead on the enemy team and say like if they three man you and you're trying to do Baron or Elder versus five, like you're gonna lose quite a bit of HP if you don't have mountain dragons, right? Or like support there shielding somebody tanking. So maybe not go for a big objective where you're using a lot of your abilities on Elder or Baron, but push for turrets instead if you've got a wave that you can use, right? So just make sure you're guiding your team where you need around the map. Try out the TP instead of ignite, unless unless that's just what you want to do, man. You can you can run the ignite. You can just kill your lane and do things that way. But not having the TP, you will not have as much presence in the game, and you will not climb as well. Presence in the game, helping teammates, is like the most important thing. Supports top lanes. Like if you're a tank, you've got to help people.